Hey, what's going on? This is The Confidence Magnet here with another great video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to talk to beautiful women even if you're extremely shy. I feel this is a very important video for you guys out there who are extremely shy when it comes to being in the presence of a beautiful woman. I myself had this problem, but over the years, I've conquered it. I've learned from many sources, from many people, and I t I'm taking what I've learned and I'm passing it on to you. So let's get it. Don't expect fireworks. The moment you expect fireworks, the moment you become disappointed and heartbroken if you get rejected. Rejection could be a son of a bitch, but if you don't if you don't expect anything and all you're doing is seeing things as they come, you'll have a higher chance of moving on to the next one once you get rejected. And you won't dwell on the previous girl and think that it's helpless for you in this area of your life. Just say hi. Saying something as simple as hi has never been so powerful. <clears throat> and the reason why I say that is because by you saying something as simple as hello, hi, what's up, how you doing? These are simple things that people don't think about that everyone responds to. No matter how attractive or how unattractive you look, you respond to these things. Because if somebody says hello and you don't respond to it with a hello or something... This is going to make you kind of look crazy. And it's going to make you look like a bad person if you ignore this person. Or it's going to make it look very obvious that you're not a person to talk to. So depending on what you want to do, just go in and say hello and see what happens from there. Use situation lines, not pickup lines. Use your surroundings to break the ice, not a cheaty pickup. So what I mean by this is if you're at the supermarket, you see a woman with items in her cart it looks like she's about to make some lasagna be like you know what my favorite dish is lasagna can you cook lasagna can you bake lasagna how good is your lasagna and yeah i can have a conversation about that if she's not interested at all and she says she has a boyfriend or whatever you leave her alone or if she says you know she gives you the time of day then you see you know like you build off from that it's not that hard. It's just that we make it hard. The initial goal is to become comfortable, not get the girl. This is very important. When you focus on getting the girl instead of becoming fluid, you will always feel at the mercy of circumstances. So if you get this girl, you always gonna be like, okay, how, how how do I keep her? You know, I, and you're gonna you're gonna get so worked up that you're gonna end up losing the girl. But if you're fluid, if you're confident, and say, well, if I lose her, then there's another one waiting for me in the winds. Then you have a higher confidence, and that confidence it actually makes you more attractive. Which brings me to the next slide: the more confident you become, the more attractive you become. Women can they love the smell of confidence on a man. Who knows what he wants. If you're a man who knows what he wants. And isn't afraid to get it. This is very sexy to women. So you want to be the guy. No matter how. You know initially you're going to be afraid. But over time. If you keep trying to go for what you want. Sooner or later. You're going to get used to going for what you want. And it's become natural to you. And this naturalness. Is going to be what makes you confident. Be observant. Use your sentence to feel the woman out. You may be missing out on signals she's giving you that can either give you an, an advantage or leave you at her mercy. What I mean by this is if you're talking to her and you're not looking for these little subtle signals that she's giving you to say, hey, I want you to keep talking to me. I want you to get my number. You're going to miss it and you're going to miss a good opportunity. Or if you see that she's one of those women that she's trying to manipulate you, and you're not picking up on that vibe, on that signal, then it's going to keep going over your head. She's going to be able to use you, manipulate you, and you're going to be like, why did she call? You know, uh, uh, it seemed like everything was going great. But if you've read those signals saying that she didn't want you to talk to her or she gave you little clues, you didn't pick up on it, it's something that you might need to be observant on. Pay attention. It's kind of like being observant, but you want to pay attention to what she says and does. This doesn't mean believe everything she tells you. So, you want to listen to what she's saying. You want to, you know, see her how her actions relate to what she's saying. 
And if they match, then you know she's being genuine. If they don't match, then she's being disingenuine. And you can determine from there if you want to deal with her or not. Getting rejected is not that bad. Getting rejected is not as bad as you think. Most women will let you down easy. The worst case scenario isn't as bad as what's playing in your head. You might be thinking, okay, if I talk to her and I, if I ask her for, my, for her number, she's going to throw a drink in my face. But a lot of times they'll say, okay, or they'll say, well, I have a boyfriend or no, thank you. They'll be very polite. There's no need for them to be hostile. If they're hostile, then you don't need to be with them anyway. And that's the way you got to look at it. Know when to talk and when to listen. Know when to talk and when to shut the fuck up. When you shut your mouth and listen, you get better results sometimes. So, sometimes if you talk to her, ask her questions, she tells you some things, and she sees that you're a good listener, she's like, well, you know, like, you're not like most guys. A lot of guys, all they do is wait for you to finish talking so they can talk about themselves. But you, you actually sit there and you listen. I like that. And this can lead to a first date, second date, third date, or whatever the case may be. If you don't approach, how will you know? You don't know unless you give it a go. Women outnumber men and get better looking with each approach. Don't let the unknown frighten you. So if you feel like you have approach anxiety, approach anyway. If you have a stuttering in your voice when you talk to her, you're trembling when you talk to her, it'll pass. Once you do it a lot more, It'll pass. Like I said before, it's not about getting the girl initially. It's about getting comfortable. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter. You can join my mailing list where you get my free ebook, The Confidence Skyscraper, where you'll get a real foundation of real confidence. Links are in the description. I want to thank you guys for tuning into today's video. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.